Today we're going to learn how to use the emitter. First we create an object. Let's create a cone. Then reduce its size. Then create the emitter from going uh, by going to simulate and then choosing emitter. Then making the cone the child of the emitter. Still nothing happens. Um, because we need to do one more step which is selecting the emitter and going down all the way in the particle tab going to show objects and if we play the animation you'll see that uh, particles are emitted in the shape of a cone now the birth rate viewport uh, controls how many uh, particles are in the viewport this is the viewport so if you reduce it to like five or like two and go back and play the animation again you'll see only two particles per second like every 30 every 30 frames is one second so 60 frames two frames per one second one second two seconds four frame four particles and, and so on we'll put it back to the, its original value birth rate in render controls like how many particles in the render when you render when you press this button render view start emission when do you want the emission to start we can choose frame number 20 press enter and now you'll see after it passes the frame number frame number 20 it starts emitting the stop and emission uh, does the same but in in the in reverse so it stops it like the particles disappear after reaching uh, frame number 150 but we only have 90 frames so we should reduce that to like 50 let's say now after reaching 50 the uh, particles will disappear now after reaching 50 the particles will st the emitter will stop emitting particles the seed the seed controls the variation uh, in the in, in the particles so if you have two emitters they will emit the same particles if they have the same settings but if you change the seed even if they have the same settings they will emit differently like different particles in different positions um, lifetime controls how long the particle stays on screen so if we say 40 frames then the particle dies let's change these values back to their original so um, the particle will die after 40 frames so as you can see variation um, controls uh, the gap between particles so some particles will if you if you increase it to up to like uh, 90 so the there would be like 90 of 90 percent variation so some particles will will be born and die immediately and some particles will last until uh, 90 percent of their lifetime so the variation is very wide speed controls the speed of the particles so the higher the faster the particles will will be will be emitted and you can also add variation so some particles will be very slow some will be very fast some will be standstill if the speed if the variation is uh, up to 100 what one part some particles will be uh, static but let's reduce it to 90 so all particles will be moving rotation does the same they the particles will rotate as they are emitted um, and you can add variation to rotation as well but and you can bring it back to uh, if you want uh, particles to look static like uh, similar uh, you can reduce the variation in their rotation so most most of them will look the same and scale controls uh, uh, the size of the particles at the end of their life so if you reduce that to zeros the particles will scale down from their ori original uh, size or we can do 0.9 so they will be uh, nine not their full size 
and you can add variations to that as well uh, tangential controls let's add uh, I'll show you what it controls let's add a vibrate tag to the emitter we'll make it uh, swing in the is it banking I don't know in the banking uh, rotation so as you can see the particles will swing with the with the with the emitter but if you don't want that you, you just want the particles to be oriented uh, in the same direction when they were shot you can just check tangential so they don't swing with the with the emitter 